What's good you guys, Nurse Pat here. Today we're dropping some heat. If you're new to this channel, this is NWA, Nurses with Attitude. So I've been getting asked for quite a while now when I'm about to drop a day in a life type video. So basically a little background is that I am a float pool registered nurse out here in the Bay Area. Float pool nurses basically go to many, many different units based on staffing needs. I work eight hour shifts from three to 11.30 PM which is great because I am not a morning person at all and I hate morning traffic. Oh, hell no. I'll show you guys a typical day for me. Days off are for play, days on are for grinding. Nothing too special to be honest, I have a fairly simple routine. So since I work in the PMs, something that's nice is that I don't have to wake up to an alarm. I'll wake up, check the time. If it's too early or if I'm feeling too tired, just put it down and go back to sleep. Typically, I'll get up around 9 to 10 a.m. And that's when I gotta make some moves to get up. I usually start my day with some black coffee, check my phone for any pertinent news, or check out the stock market, anything interesting really. And then I get ready to go outside for a facet walk. Good for your soul. Right now I'm listening to some YouTube videos for studying. We could also listen to podcasts, music, whatever you want. And I typically will walk outside and it'll be like around one mile. Then I'll have some breakfast, something quick, something light to gas up, put the peanut butter on both sides. Otherwise that's a sin. Get some help. And typically I want something with some fast and slow acting carbs for my workout. I'll eat that real quick and settle down get ready for the gym. I have a pre-workout that I make basically with bulk ingredients, which is creatine, citrulline malate, and beta alanine. And I'll also have some form of caffeine. I like using caffeine pills because it's easily accessible and it's pretty cost effective in my opinion compared to having a bunch of coffees or energy drinks. I'll show you some footage of a portion of my workout. I'm rocking about Boa in the ring. Chain on my neck, watch it bling as I swing. Calling the shots, I might just pull some strings. Sit in my throne, yeah, I go by the gang. Always in a fight or I'm always in a struggle. Wake up every morning, then I get to the hustle. I've been flexing while y'all haven't even moved the muscle. If you wanna see the money, bitch, I got it in the duffel. I'm, I'm, I'm back to the basics, I'm stuck in the matrix. You wanna succeed, then you gotta go take it all night and on day. Damn, and boy. It's like Michael, I'll make That's it. too easy. They hate, but they copy. No, they cannot stop me. I'm dipping so hard, so you know they can't knock me. Championship belt on my body. In the fight, in the ring, just like I'm Rocky. I'm, I'm Rocky, I'm Rocky, I'm Rocky. Balboa, they send me a check, and then I might just show up. I hop out that rape, and I'm looking like Tony. I'm balling like Kobe, wrist like a trophy. I ride in the night, yeah, I'm so out of sight. Strap on them J's, and I'm about to take flight. I feel like Sylvester Stallone. Ice on my neck while my rollie is covered in chrome. I I'm bobbing and weaving, and I'm at work while you're sleeping. And when I whip, I'll be speeding, finessing, and I'll be scheming. And I've been getting this money, you can't take nothing from me. And if you wanna come try me, we'll jump and squat like a bunny. Got the gloves on, and I'm socking. Once I start, there's no stopping. After the fight, hop up in the rape with that gas. Yeah, I'm hot boxing. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit. I'm rocking about Boa in the ring. Chain on my neck, watch it bling as I swing. Calling the shots on my. Coming back from the gym, I'll have a protein drink and a small source of carbs, so I got something in me while I cook and study. These are chicken tacos that I have made during this day. Real fire. So I'm showing the ingredients now. Real easy ingredients that are, you know, not too bad on the nutrition facts. Have your favorite salsa. Got some chicken breasts. Bake, about 20 minutes. While I'm doing that, I'll start studying. Currently, I'm studying for my PCCN, which is the Progressive Care Certified Nurse. And not gonna lie, since most of my experience is in 
med surge and medical. These practice questions are really kicking my ass. I'm not gonna lie. Have mercy. I try to study for about an hour a day and I plan to do that for about a month and a half. Having this certification will be helpful because not only will it make me more marketable, it'll allow me to possibly transition to other units like PCU and CCU. 20 minutes later. Now I'm weighing my chicken for about three tacos. It's about one serving size worth, about four ounces. Now I'm showing you guys the finished result. Pour down your favorite salsa on the top and you're good to go. I know you're here. I can smell the salsa. <laughs> Taste test. Fire AF. Then I'll get back to studying for a little bit before I get ready for it. Now I'm putting on my head cap. I got my Janu scrubs on. Putting on the Vocera stethoscope. Fanny pack on my bat belt. Comes in real clutch during the shifts. Putting the shoes on. And now, just showing you the fit. I'm about 5'11", 180 pounds at the moment. These Janu scrubs are pretty form-fitting. The medium size works real well in my figure, in my opinion. Before work, I'll have a little stack here. I got my coffee, some dark chocolate. So I'll have two of those dark chocolates, and I'll have some ginkgo biloba and vitamin B complex. The dark chocolate will help you with your mood and anxiety during stressful shifts, and the others are helping with your focus and concentration. So now I'm on my way to work. I usually come around 2.30, 2.45-ish. I'm on my 15 minute break at the moment. I was trying to take a video earlier on my dinner break, but then there was like too many people coming in. So I felt a little embarrassed to be talking in front of a camera. Um, so basically, as float pool, I come in to the hospital, I check out with staffing, and they tell me which unit I have to go to. So basically as flow pool nurses, um, we have to go wherever we're needed and stuff. So if we're short on nurses on a specific unit, they'll send us over there. So at the moment, I'm on the telemetry unit, which is a bunch of uh, cardiac, you know, heart patients. And um, so far the shift is going pretty well good moderate pace my patients are fine they're very nice and stuff I'm grateful it's always a good day when your patients are always saying thank you you know just that that little gratification goes a long way and stuff you know i i feel like i could be busy as hell but my patients are like grateful for what i do it really does make a difference in my day so i'm really liking how today's going it's about uh, nine o'clock at the moment and I get off at around 11.30 and I'll update you guys with how the rest of the shift goes. Now my shift's over, walking back to my baby Alexis. I got some alcohol wipes to wipe down my shoes and my equipment. So I'm back from my shift, you guys. It's about 11.40 at the moment, I'm back in my car. Shift went pretty well. Uh, you know, I wish that I could talk about the details of my shift, what happened, my patients, you know, have some good stories for you guys. But unfortunately, due to HIPAA regulations and confidentiality, I can't really do that. You know, some people talk about like diagnoses and, you know, per certain procedures. But, you know, I just want to be a little careful because they say that they could still track you down and what has happened. And they could find out like, find out a lot of stuff really. And, you know, you don't want to get sued for that type of thing. Um, so I'm sorry I can't tell you the details, but you know, I was basically in the telemetry unit. All of my patients had heart conditions and uh, what you'll see in this telemetry unit is patients who've had, you know, basically heart attacks, who have abnormal heart rhythms, like <clears throat> atrial fibrillation that's uncontrolled or supraventricular tachycardia, or patients that need pacemakers, patients that had ablations, patients that need valve replacements, stuff like that. You also have open heart surgery patients, but they only come into that specific unit, I believe on post-op day two. So you do a lot of heart focused things on this unit. I do find it very interesting. So yeah, I'm just gonna drive home and get settled and everything. I'll show you guys that.
Right when I get home, I head straight to the bathroom to take a shower and get cleaned up. So now for the face routine recommended by my girlfriend and her sister. I got some toner and I got some niacinamide serum, which is sort of uh, preventing acne. Can't really focus on there. And then a good moisturizer. So I start off with the toner. And then after that dries, get a little squeeze of the serum, maybe just like a, a pea size or so and just rub it all over. And then after that dries, get the lotion on board. I usually have a little excess, so I just wipe that around anywhere. So after I'm all cleaned up, I basically figure out how many calories I got left for the day and eat a small snack. I just got a turkey and cheese sandwich there. Now I got my pills for the nighttime. I take a multivitamin, fish oil, magnesium, zinc, and glucosamine. Then I brush my teeth to prepare for bed. Usually it's around 1 a.m. after I'm done and I am ready to sleep. So yeah, that's what my day looks like on a typical work day. There's just little deviations here and there based on if it's a rest day for working out, if I gotta do groceries or any miscellaneous errands. Today I got time, cuz. I hope you guys were entertained by the video. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments below, or you can hit me up on IG, this be Patrick. If you're feeling the content, be sure to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching y'all. And as always, stay safe. Stay humble. I'm out.